But uh, kicking off today, I've got to say a very big welcome back to former loose lady, Claire Sweeney. Hello. 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 Is it hello? You're all right. You know, I'm so excited to be back. It's like you've never been away. Yeah, yeah. it's like putting a comfortable pair of slippers back on. Yeah. It's, and yeah. I'm still in the same seat as well, which I'm pleased about. Yeah, because I saw you on Sunday night, didn't I? At that do, we were in at Liverpool. Dion Warwick. Dion yes. Warwick, yes, for the Variety Club. And you said to me then you were on the show, and actually at the time, I had a few wines. And I thought you just meant you were, were you on the drunk, Carol? Oh, only a little tiny bit. Change. Only a little tiny bit. And I remember thinking, oh, well, that's great. Claire's coming on as a guest. And when they said you were actually coming on to do this, I was like, mm. woohoo! About Lovely time. Dumb. It's great to be back. Well, last time we saw you, obviously, you were on Come Dine with me. You looked like you were having a bit of fun. Yeah. yeah. And I saw Miss Kim on Monday having a go at me on this show. Yeah. Oh, well, it makes a change. Oh, Usually me. Yeah. Well, look, if, if any of you missed it, here, have a have a look. <laughs> Do you know what made me laugh about that? On the show, she accused me of being loose. She called me the parish slapper. And then she said I was a drunk. Oh, that's what she called me. Exactly. I thought, that's self-projection, isn't it? So did you, did you get her drunk, or did she just, you know, voluntarily drink that bottle of vodka from well, the bottle? Well, she didn't decline it. No. Let's put it that way. Mm. But I did get great fun in watching her, because this bottle of vodka, well, I didn't tell her at the time, I'd had it in my fridge for six years. <gasps> and it tasted like battery acid. <laughs> so after a few drinks, she's thinking it's gorgeous. And I just poured it in a dessert. I said, enjoy that, love. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, well no, this is why you fit right in. <laughs> OK. Uh, now, British women, listen up, because uh, according to a new, new survey, we're getting it horribly wrong when it comes to fashion. Yes, Britain has been voted the worst-dressed nation in Europe. Almost half of those questions uh, questioned, identified us as having the worst fashion sense, followed by the Germans and the Spanish. <laughs> uh, it's been suggested that our love of a bargain could be to blame. But do you think we're really as badly dressed as, as they say, Carol? Um, I wouldn't say the worst, no, because I have been to a few places where it, they are much worse than like us. Where? But well, no, I don't want to say really because I'll just upset too many people. Oh, go on, so, Carol. Well, it's um, never stopped you before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't want to upset a whole nation. But um, I do think that I do think that here we are generally scruffy. Um, th and th how I compare it is to, to countries that you go to where they are so immaculately, beautifully dressed, especially women, that when you come back here, you really do notice that, you know, a lot of people just don't make any effort at all. Now, I, you know, I'm not putting down people who want to be casual, that's fine, but I think a lot of people are, are, are genuinely scruffy. When you go to Paris, say, or Rome, or places like that, Women wouldn't dream of going out without, uh, without having their hair done, you know, their makeup and getting their nails done, and, you know, with beautiful clothes on, you know, always mm. looking really good. But here we don't see it. We've got a tracksuit thing going on, haven't track we? Suit, and they wouldn't go well, out in tracksuits. Talking about no, tracksuits, there was a, a documentary on a while ago, Joan Collins did it, and she, did you yeah, see I it? Saw it. Was and she got these girls from this council Hilarious. estate, and she was trying to glam them up. Yeah. Well, I was doing this show in Oldham at the time, and I was guilty of going to work most days in my tracksuit your milk boots, right? I watched this documentary and the next day I went in skinny jeans, high heel boots, fitted shirt. Yeah. And I just thought, you know, you've got to make an effort. Yeah. And it makes you feel better as well. It does make you feel and better. I think, I think it's important. I mean, my mum was a model, so she always looks fantastic. Now, even when she goes out, she always makes an effort. Mm. And it's always like, make the best of what you've got. And I just really think that. And we do, and we can get lazy. And we can get scruffy. And that's to do with the tracksuit syndrome. But it's isn't also it? really... Easy. You know, to throw one on, isn't it, though? And not, and not get yourself up and get his hair sorted. And I don't mean to, you know, there is a point where some people go, well, what, do you think you're going to a ball or something? No, but also you know when you're trying to get the kids up, you know, to school and all this sort of stuff, you're trying to make the packed lunch. And, you know, in my case, you've got one ready for nursery, one ready for school, well, done the packed lunch, the dog's eating the cereal when you turned your, yeah, your back. It's different. Gonna be Andrew, Andrew, and that's it. That's different. It's Why? different, right? It doesn't matter if you go and put the bins out or put the rubbish out, whatever, with no makeup on and your pyjamas. That's fine. Even mm -hmm. the school run, that's fine. You know, nothing worse than seeing a load of mums competing at the school run in the latest designer gear Ugh. but um and i don't even have to do it but i think that's that's reasonable but i mean for going to work for going out for going shopping for yeah, things like yeah, that when people yeah. just people don't just do it effortlessly i remember working with pollard who's on after and saying to pollard do you plan what you're going to wear or do you just pick up everything and put it on at once yeah. <laughs> she plans it yeah. yeah. She plans it, meticulously plans the outfit, but, but she looks fabulous. Don't you, Carol her being. Does, because Carol can put a plastic bag on, I always think. Don't say that again. No, but it's true, because, because she has that kind, she's very I tall. Yeah, but remember she just, years ago, Carol, when you look at the old footage. 
Oh, I look shocking. Remember, and now you're so glamorous. Well, I'm really different. Yeah. That, though, don't I've you? changed. I do think we've got a thing here that, you know, because of the because of the tracky kind of thing, is that you act, people actually slouch, don't they, and walk like that. You know, we do, my mother said always put a pair of heels on and it'll make you stand up straight away. Yeah, it'll give you some posture. Yeah. And I think you can, like also, that, you, know. you can also, it's not about going to cheap shops either. You can go to cheap shops and you can buy cheap clothes, but you don't have to make them look cheap. You know, people can buy really nice clothes now for no money. Mm. So there's no excuse to be scruffy. So smarten up everyone. <laughs> right. Smarten up Britain. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, earlier we were talking about Claire's appearance on Come Dine With Me alongside the lovely uh, Kim Woodburn. Now, Kim joined us on Monday to launch our new feature spring clean your spouse dear <laughs> uh, yeah she's helping us to spring clean your mucky men's act so if your partner never cleans up after himself or has disgusting personal habits then send us an email saying why you need Kim's help we'll be naming and shaming hopefully taming those mucky men in two weeks time on the show so make sure you tell them before you tell us uh, those deemed the most deserving might even be invited to the studio for some frank advice and lessons from the Queen of Clean. Remember, we uh, may be able to change your man from this to this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so email us at Mr. Mr. Mark. She <laughs> 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 just said that's Stephen Mark. How very rude. <laughs> So email us at least.womenitv.com uh, by Thursday, 25th of March at 5 p.m. and visit our website where we'll be able to watch an exclusive interview with Kim <laughs> explaining what she's looking for and how she can help dear. She didn't say which way round though, did she? Uh, right, pit stop time. But, no, you didn't need to. Uh, but